Hello everyone, Jemis here, and today I'm going to show off my huge Nintendo Wii GameCube collection. I got a gigantic stack here. Um, not like, you know, not like big compared to other people, but I, it's definitely my most collected four. So yeah, let's get on with uh, Super Mario Galaxy, one of the great games on the Wii. Definitely a must have to pick up for the system. New Super Mario's Wii, another really great game. Has I think in my this is my this is in my opinion my favorite new Super Mario game although I haven't played you yet so Excite Truck it's okay um, it's in it's in this kind of area because it is actually made by Nintendo um, it's not just licensed it's actually made by Nintendo it's a it's supposed to be a sequel to Excite Bike even though it has nothing to do with Excite Bike at all yeah kind of weird it's it's okay Sonic Colors great amazing game anybody. Not even Sonic fans should play it. Sonic Unleashed. Uh, pretty good game. I've played it a lot. Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings. I personally think it's really underrated for what it is. I didn't really have that much trouble with motion controls at all. Sonic and the Black Knight. Extremely underrated. This is a really great game. Um, really fun there. Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Really, really great game. Um... Uh, the, you know, it's just, it's just kind of funny to, I mean, I, I obviously, I watched the, uh, the Some Call Me Johnny review on this game, and he did not know that using the D-pad was an option, so he had to use the crappy motion controls. Um, but, yeah, when you're using the D-pad, this game gets really fun. Sama de Amigo, surprisingly really, um, responsive rhythm game, and I, I love my rhythm games, so... Yeah, I really like that one. Knight's Journey of Dreams. It's okay. It's very difficult, very annoying, but it's it's okay. Sign and Say Ghost Racing. Really, really great game. Really great racer. Rayman Raving Rabbids. Really great mini game collection. I gotta admit, probably probably my favorite Rabbids game out of the three or out of the uh, four. I forgot to mention Travel in Time. Rayman Raving Rabbids Two. Pretty fun, although. It is extremely easy, and uh, some of the main games are kind of meh. Rayman Raven Rabbit's TV Party, not a good game at all. Um, mini games are very repetitive. Uh, they go on for too long. There's too many of them. Uh, like too many in the case that like they're the same exact mini games repeated over and over again, with just like a bit a bit of a uh, change here and there. Um, yeah, not gonna like that game. Rabbits Go Home, really fun and hilarious game. I I encourage a lot of people to go get Rabbits Go Home. It's a really, really funny game that I I, I've, I just got recently, but I've been having a ton of fun with it. Namco Museum Mega Mix, um, my kind of one-two go for, uh, for a bunch of just Namco games that I want to play. Um, the only bad thing is I don't really like using the nunchuck that much for these games, and... Uh, the classic controller is kind of weird to where, you, in the hub world, you have to use the nunchuck, and then you have to switch it between games. It's kind of weird. Skyline Surprise Adventure. Pretty fun. I don't... I think it's one of the kind of worser games. Skyline Giants. Really, really great. Probably uh, my favorite in the series so far. Skyline Supercharged Racing. Really, really fun racer. I was uh, pleasantly surprised by that. It was really, really fun. Uh, Rampage Total Destruction, it's okay. Very motion control heavy. Not kind of my cup of tea, but hey, you know. It has Rampage 1 and World Tour, so... So, sorry, man, I think I've been a long day. Um, it has Rampage 1 and World Tour, so that's kind of the one reason I bought it. De Blob. For the first one in the series, it's, it's, uh, definitely it's very slow, kind of boring in some moments. Which De Blob 2 actually helped with. De Blob 2 is a lot better in my eyes. It's a lot more colorful. The music's a lot better, and it's a lot quicker. Um, I, I, the one main reason I, I didn't really like De Blob 1 that much was because, uh, because of how boring it was. And I think De Blob 2 actually helped that. Benton Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction, one of the glitchiest games I have ever played on the Wii. I s swear to God is. Man, I thought I thought it was like my system for for a moment. It was it's so glitchy, and uh, I'm surprised this even got past testing 
Like it, it's 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 bad with his glitchiness. SpongeBob plays Butter Revenge. Um, per, I I personally think this is a really fun game. Not others do. Hey, what you can do? SpongeBob Truth of Square, really really great SpongeBob platformer. Nicktoons MLB, and I like MLB games for what they are. I usually stick to uh, PS One and N sixty four. Uh, be uh, baseball games, but this one has Ren Stimpy, so it gets a it gets a pass from me. TMNT, a uh, recent game I got. It's 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 pretty fun. It's a beat 'em up, uh, kind of Prince of Persia style platformer. It's okay. Uh, I wouldn't really say it's amazing. Epic Mickey Two, really great game there. I had a lot of fun playing that game. Toy Story Three, really really fun platformer. Um, 3D platformer. I really got a kick out of Toy Story 3. It's fun. Um, Cars Man International. It's okay. I don't think it's as good as Cars 1. And, uh, it does get kind of boring at some points. Um, but it's still okay. Ratatouille. Not a very good game at all. Um, it's either extremely difficult or extremely motion heavy. And those aren't good things. Madagascar's Cape Africa. Really fun mini game. Uh, collection with uh, really good graphics. I, I actually applaud them for how good the graphics look in this game. Um, Sean White Skateboarding. Okay, I'm not really a fan of skateboarding games, but for a skateboarding game, I guess this is okay. It controls kind of fine, the graphics look nice, and uh, I guess it's fine enough for what it is, although I'm not really a skateboarding fan. Lego Indiana Jones. This is my one and only Lego game on Wii. And now we have the unboxed games, which I have, which are in sleeves, which I have a few of. We got Wii Sports Resort, really great minigame collection there. We play. It's it's okay. I, I don't really think of it that that amazing. Nicktoons Tiger Toy Bots, amazing, amazing game. I absolutely adored it. But by the time I was done, I was wishing for more. Um, Epic Mickey, pretty fun. I like. I think Epic Mickey Two is a bit better, but uh, I'm not. Cars Race Arama, I think that's probably the best one in the series. It's it's a lot shorter, but it has the most variety, and I like the uh, the tracks a lot more and the and the different designs for lightning. Uh, Phineas and Ferb Across Second Mention, pretty fun game, I'd say, pretty good 3D shooter. Uh, and Madagascar Three, um, it's an okay game, I'd say, uh, not terrible, but not good either. Anyway, okay, so that is it for this video. If you like, then like, subscribe to my channel all about time, and we'll see you guys next time.